Hello, 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 it's Dolly and I am back with Let's Get Messy Wednesday and you have a treat. I am in love with this mixed media layout that I created. I am using Nuva Shimmer Powders. I am not using that Vicky Boot stencil to the right. I'm using clear gesso to prime this watercolor paper from Vicky Booten. I'm using the silicone paintbrush from Art Basics to spread that on that uh, watercolor paper. That is a Prima stencil, and I took embossing. I took my clear embossing dabber ink and inked through that stencil. Then I took clear embossing powder and put that on top, took off the excess, and then I heat set it. Now I am taking water using my Distress Spray from Ranger. I'm using the Nuva Shimmer Powder right now in Catherine Wheel. And as you can see, it just takes a little bit. When it hit that water, look how it spread. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Now watch everyone, look at, I am just moving that color around. I'm spraying, moving the paper, making it go around the circle. And I follow this whole process throughout that 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Again, I that's a 12 by 12 watercolor paper from Vicki Booten. I primed it with clear gesso. I took that Prima stencil and clear embossing ink that's in a dabber. And I moved it through that stencil. Then I took clear embossing powder, sprinkled it all on top, then shook off the excess and then heat set it. All right. Now you're seeing me use the Nuva Shimmer Powder in Green Parade. The yellow that you see is called Solar Flare. Same thing, I'm just moving that green around. And if you noticed, I use a paper towel in certain areas to get up even more of the ink because it's basically like a watercolor ink. It's in a powder form and turns basically into like a watercolor ink. And then to add different depth to this page is by having different shades of your ink. So I'm still using the three colors, but I'm getting different tones of it because I take the paper towel and I absorb some of that ink. I didn't use it to dry this layout. I'm using it to get different tones, all right? And that just provides more depth to the page. Now, this is the completed. I let it dry overnight. And see, it's not that warped at all. That watercolor paper is awesome. Okay, here, I knew I wanted to distress the entire edge, but then I decided I wanted to make it a little bit smaller and have a mat in the background. Well, this watercolor paper is very thick, so I couldn't just rip it with my hand or use a ruler. I had to get out my scissors and cut out whatever wonky shape you want. So get out and play and do the exact same thing. Don't be afraid. It's just paper. And what it cost you? It cost you 99 cents. And then the little tiny bit of product I just showed you that I used, I probably used maybe one cent of each of those colors because you see it was just a tiny dab and you saw the size of the container. And these powders are only like $3.99, $4.99. They're really cheap. So you are not wasting anything to get out and play because the more that you play, the more comfortable. It's art, so it's up to interpretation. I love the way it looks, and when I get, get it finished, you are too. And all I did was play. There is nothing else. I didn't hide anything out of this. I cut sections so it wouldn't be a long video, but like I said, that's exactly how I created. I didn't do anything off camera and not telling you. What I told you is exactly how I created this layout. 
I want you to know because so many people are afraid to try. All right, so there's my initial cut, and I'm using scrapbook.com double side adhesive. It works wonderful. And see, and you can see how you can see some of the color through that, but that it didn't um, damage that paper at all. It's still very thick. I wish you could see it in per person and plus feel it. It has so much texture on it. I just am so in love with how this turned out. It just turned out gorgeously beautiful. The colors and everything. And I just love all the depth to this layout, all the dimension, the texture on this layout. All right, so I just will tear a few, I mean, take off the strip of tape on like a few of them, push down, take a few more, and then that's why it's got that rolling effect, not because of the paper, it's because of the way I adhered it to that green cardstock. I will cut the green cardstock in the same motion as my mixed media paper. And as you can see, I'm distressing it. And that little blue tool that I'm using is about 15 years old from Creative Memories. I, I don't know if they still have it. They probably do. It might be a different color. Then I'm going to adhere both of those papers on this black cardstock from close to my heart. Oh, by the way, if you don't have a close to my heart consultant, I am now a close to my heart consultant and I will have the link listed below. And also I will have the link listed below the links to Tisa, which is our host, Amy, Scrappy Amy, that's playing along with us, and Becky. So their links will be listed below that participate monthly. We post on the first Wednesday of each month some form of mixed media that we used on our layout. All right, I wanted a little bit more to that black background, so I used folk, folk art acrylic white paint. And I just did some splatters, and then the yellow is Heidi Swap Color Shine in Butter. There is very little um, die cuts on this layout because of my mixed media. All right, the word sparkle comes from, uh, let's see, Chamel, her, her line that came out. I forgot what it was called, but anyway, Sparkle City, something like that. No, it wasn't Sparkle City. But anyway, that's from Chamel. I put an old flare button. I'm using some older stickers here to the right that came from Hobby Lobby. And then I have a puffy sticker there. That long one says, Happy Girls Are the Prettiest Girls. I put a little black bow that came, you're going to see that in a minute, a little black bow that came from close to my heart. My photograph is mounted, mounted, matted, I'm sorry, matted on black glitter, glitter paper and pink paper. And now I am getting out that folk art acrylic white paint and I'm doing some finger painting. It's so fun. It's so relaxing just to be a kid. So I'm just dipping my index finger, wiping along the edge because I want to keep the focus in the middle. And that is a photograph of me and Tisa. Tisa is our host. And here comes a, comes a close up. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Hit the bell button, give a thumbs up, and we will see you next time you stop by and watch my channel. All right, bye.